Hello, Frank Stringer here, and uh, welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a long, long time since I've done one of these, um, but a long time ago, I remember a good friend of mine asked me uh, if I could try to do like some sort of caustics tutorial uh, in 3ds Max. So here we are in 3ds Max, and I've created this little room here, and. Um, it, you know, pool room, uh, basically to, to kind of demonstrate the idea of caustics. Uh, there are many, many tutorials on YouTube right now about um, mental ray caustics, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and try to do something a little different. Um, and uh, using lights themselves to to uh, to. Uh, generate uh, the illusion of caustics rather than having the actual uh, photon reflection and reflection off of water and things like that. Um, and I, I did this in a way so that um, to kind of give you guys this little tip to help you um, if um, you don't want to wait or if you don't have patience for all that rendering time. So. Let's get started. All right, uh, here we are in my main. Um, uh, I am in my perspective up here, and uh, to my bottom right is my camera angle. Uh, middle is my left, and the left is my top view. Uh, so this is basically what we have here, and. Uh, I just basically set up this entire scene, um, didn't do anything special to it, just added a couple of uh, built-in uh, textures and things like that, and uh, just a camera view, and um, <clears throat> what I found out um, was um, basically uh, casting uh, map shadows from any specific light, um, you can use uh, basically a, an animated texture to uh, uh, animate uh, you know, a lighting sequence through a map. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Um, get into my maps. So I'm going to I'm going to select one that I haven't used yet. Material map browser, and I'm going to go ahead and use. Um, you can use like noise and, and things like that if you if you if you want like more like still water kind of uh, movement. Um, any anything's good that's you know movable and that you can manipulate, and it's all up to you. Um, you just basically use your own imagination on. Getting the right settings of, of things. So, yeah, there's the smoke, okay. And I'm gonna flip it. And I'm gonna maximize it so I can see what's going on um, in the material. be readjusted later as you um, continue um, adjusting and, and fixing things. Um, we've got a hundred frame animation here so I'm going to click auto key and find a 
find the phase, and set the set to zero, so I'm going to go to 100, and then set the auto phase to about, maybe about 0.7. Just so that if if your if your caustics isn't just one still frame image, but rather you know 100 to 1,000 frame animation, I just wanted to show you that so you know how to animate uh, the map for the caustics. Uh, moving on, I am going to select a regular standard Omnilight. As you can see, I already have one here that's. Um, Already, let's see. I'll move on to this quick, okay. And uh, if you look up here, I already have an Omni light lighting the entire room, so that's where the illumination is coming from, and not a mental ray uh, light whatsoever. Uh, these are just standard Omni lights. close to the middle of the pool actually and I want to have it actually close to the water uh, in a sense um, because that way when when it uh, casts the map for the uh, shadows uh, generating the illusion uh, by distance it will calculate it should calculate Down here where it says advanced effects, this is what I found interesting, is that you can uh, add effects according to maps, which I was just, just, just talking about earlier. So, uh, maps, and materials, and drag and drop into the projector map, and instance. You should get a little bit of a noisy um, uh, shadow casting. And as you can see um, in the rendering, you can see that the uh, the map of the shadows casted on the walls, and um, uh, the reason why the Omni was so close to the water. So, like I said, it can calculate by distance. So, towards the ceiling and, and on the walls, it's bigger. Towards the ground, it's a little bit smaller, and um, you can have that effect. You can also adjust the map 
uh, animation to exactly how you want it. Um, because when you're using mental ray water, it animates um, according to those maps. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's that. And if, if you wanted me just to show you something real quick um, from scratch. Okay, um, it's setting on exactly on top of the grid, and um, so we don't need to really adjust that. But what I would like to do is set X and Y to zero, so it's exactly in the middle of the grid. So, and then standard. Same thing, X and Y, make sure those are set to zero so that the light is directly in the middle of the grid. And from there I can adjust the size again. Object um, just about before the size of, of the uh, uh, <clears throat> of where the light uh, is positioned. So and it keeps being stubborn. Sorry about that. Another tip, um, you can adjust between the white and the black levels. The low should be the black areas and the high should be the, the white areas. And uh, when, when you're increasing and decreasing, low should be increased to increase the black level. And uh, the high should be lowered to increase the white level. Uh, 
should not do pinch for that. And what I want to do. about this is that all it will do is just render that map it won't render anything else in the light unless you put another light in there but as you can see you have sort of an illusion let me get closer to that the light shining it gives sort of an illusion of caustics and um, you just uh, adjust the, the, the animation between phases uh, like before and then um, you know you basically have your caustic or your illusion of caustic now if you want to illuminate your scene illumination there and um, works with pretty much all different uh, textures you put to your objects and stuff like that and um, you know and this could this could be anything right now I think I've created kind of a mattress unexpectedly but um, to give you the idea this could be something like uh, depending on how you adjust the map it could be something like uh, underwater or it could be an object around around different areas of water. Um, like in the scene I just showed you earlier with the room, with the pool room that I've created. It's, um, it's very simple, actually. And as you can see, everything is done in Scanline, I believe. Yeah, this isn't Mental Ray. This is straight from Scanline. So, I mean, you don't even have to have Mental Ray if you don't want to. And that's the cool thing about it. Uh, it also renders faster and it should cut down some uh, rendering time too. I know I've done some caustic scenes, some crazy caustic scenes in uh, Mental Ray and I've logged pretty much 50 some odd plus hours, you know, rendering, just rendering time on it. So, you know, I hope this kind of thing uh, helps you guys out and, um, Message me on, on uh, uh, YouTube if you have any questions. Alright, this is Frank, and thank you for watching.